Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled a Bell 3827 Cannibal Cluster Gravitational Lens. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy cluster known by the catalog designation of Abel 3827. And most of the objects that you see in this image are galaxies. Now, some of them look relatively familiar and look like the spiral and elliptical galaxies that we are used to. However, there are some very distorted galaxies here. Now often when we look at galaxies that have been distorted it is because they're interacting and their gravitational fields interact distorting the galaxy. However, that is not what we're looking at here. And in fact, the galaxy stretched out in kind of an arc to the right hand side is actually several multiple images of a single distant galaxy way beyond the cluster. And it's kind of arcing around those four elliptical galaxies that are a central portion of this cluster. Now this is what we call gravitational lensing and is a prediction of general relativity. General relativity describes gravity a little bit different than we're used to hearing about through Newton. Newton looks at gravity as a force between objects. General relativity, on the other hand, says that a massive object will distort the space around it. And the more mass it has, the more distorted that space becomes. So that when light travels through this distorted space, it follows a different paths depending on the exact gravitational field. So what we're seeing in that arc, which looks like galaxies with three separate cores scattered around is actually three images of the identical galaxy. And we can tell this by actually making spectroscopic measurements and finding out that indeed these are the same galaxy. So it is multiple images of one galaxy that has been distorted as its light travels through the gravitational field of this cluster. So it is one thing that this is very useful for is determining the mass of the cluster. So we can use how the gravity bends the light to infer how much mass must be in the cluster to cause the bending that we see. And one of the things that we learn from this is that there is a lot of material that we simply cannot see in these galaxy clusters that cannot be accounted for by the visible material that we see. And this is what we call the dark matter. And in fact, the amount of dark matter in a cluster can be as much as 50 or even 100 times the amount of material that we see visibly. So for each galaxy that we see, that means we need 50 to 100 galaxies worth of material to account for the bending that occurs and explain that under general relativity. Now one other interesting thing here is that we're looking at these galaxies. They're about 1.3 billion light years away, meaning we see them as they were 1.3 billion years ago. How have they changed over that time? Well, we would expect that they're very close that since they're very close together at the center, that they will have cannibalized each other and we will just see one large galaxy now. However, we cannot see that until the light gets to us. So because light travels only at the speed of light, we see things as they are 1.3 billion years ago. If they combine together 1 billion years ago, we still have to wait 300 million years for the light from that event to reach us. So it's one of the things that happens because light does not travel infinitely fast and does take a certain amount of time to reach us. And that means we never see anything in astronomy as it is exactly at this instant. We see it as it was at some point in the past. And the further away it is, the more in the past we see it. So that was our picture of the day for August the 23rd of 2021. It was titled Abel 3827 Cannibal Cluster Gravitational Lens. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be planet forming space ring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. 
and I will see you in class.